Hey guys, it's Memorizer92, and today I'm gonna cover the new gravity training guide after the August KR balance patch. This guide will be helpful when the balance patch happens in the West in the future. Then let's get started. Okay, first of all, new tripod for gravity training came out. It's called Gravity Charge, and all the purpose skills except gravity compression have it. It increases more identity gauge whenever you use that purple skill with three cores. If the tripod level is 5, full swing and seismic camera gets increased by 15%. Others get increased by 13%. Second of all, the gravity training engraving changed. At level 3, crit rate and damage of gravity mode increases by 30% and 20% each which is same as the previous version. But now, it also increases additional identity gauge by 70% whenever you use the purple skills. Moreover, for every third auto attack in the gravity mode, it does additional shock attack. So there are three factors that increases the amount of identity gauge by a lot. Specialization stat, gravity training class engraving, and the new gravity charge tripods. And the auto attacks in the gravity mode now applies 12% armor break party synergy. When I start to bonk the mob, you can see the armor break debuff below the mob's HP. And for every third attack, shockwave will happen. The goal of this new build is to fill up the max gauge with one rotation by using four purple skills. Well, I tested this out, and if you have around 1725 specialization, with level 5 gravity charge tripod only on one purple skill, then that maxes out the gauge perfectly. But this figure is impossible in the west since there's no bracelet which comes out with the Broshaza Legion Raid. So the next best option is to run Gravity Charge Tripod on two purple skills. I will tell you how much specialization that you need when I explain the purple skills later on since it varies on which skill you use. One thing for sure is that the higher your specialization is, the better your damage is since spec not only increases the amount of the gauge restoration but also increases damage of all the purple skills and gravity mode as well so you want to main specialization and sub crit for the gravity training build for the engravings gravity training master brawler barricade grudge and spirit absorption spirit absorption increases the amount of auto attacks you can do in the gravity mode you can run Curse Law over Spirit Absorption since it did similar DPS in the training room. But if you think about the slowness in the real raid, Spirit Absorption will definitely help a lot. For 3x3 engraving, I would recommend Grudge, Barricade, and Gravity Training. For 4x3, add either Spirit Absorption or Master Brawler. Now the skills. There is a link in the Discord where you can see the whole skill set with tripods and runes. Heavy Crush Lead Rune. Power Strike Overwhelm Rune. Gravity Force Rage Rune. And Endure Pain Focus Rune. Gravity Force is really a good skill in Gravity Training Build since you can max out the gauge by using it twice in a row. And to have a fast synergy skill, I recommend Power Strike over Dreadnought as a counter skill. Now the purple skills. Three purple skills are most likely fixed. Earthwave, which is the new skill that replaced One Man Army, Perfect Swing, and Seismic Hammer. Seismic Hammer is the strongest purple skill in Gravity Training build thanks to this new tripod that increases 40% of the damage at level 5. So you want to run full DPS tripods with Gale Wind Rune. Perfect Swing is the second strongest skill with Hour of Slaughter tripod. 
hour of slaughter doesn't require charging time, and having short animation is good for gravity training since majority of the DPS comes out from the gravity mode. You wanna run full DPS tripod with Gilwin rune. Earthwave doesn't do a lot of damage, but it has very short animation. You wanna run the gravity charge tripod on this skill with Overwhelm rune. For the last skill, it needs the gravity charge tripod. You pick either from Earth Eater, Full Swing, and Neutralizer. It's really a preference, but I personally recommend Full Swing since it has short animation with shortest cooldown. For the rune, you want to run Gale Wind rune for all three of them. For the priority of the tripod, go for the gravity charge and DPS tripod on all the purpose skills. Okay, this time let me show you how much specialization is required based on skills and level of the tripod. For the gems, you wanna use Attack Gem on Seismic Hammer, Perfect Swing, Earth Wave, Full Swing, and Gravity Mode. For the rest of the gems, you wanna run Cooldown Reduction Gem on Seismic Hammer, Perfect Swing, Full Swing, Endure Pain, Gravity Force, and Power Strike. Lastly, Example of Rotation. Well guys, that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching and hit the sub if you guys liked it. Then see you guys on the next video. Bye bye.